Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PSN review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Death's Bank Thongs of Virtue, which we know played it before, it's an RPG, it's a sequel to the first Death's Bank game. Uh, story wise, it continues right from the end of the first game. I'm not going to mention the story obviously, but it's just, well, if you enjoyed the first one, go out and get this one. Uh, don't get me wrong, there's a few things different that for some reason you might hate, and I'll show them now, but personally I think they have fixed much needed problems, mainly the co op. Uh, help and options are pretty much as basic as they were last time. DLC, I've got it, I will mention it. Hell, one of the things I'm going to show is DLC. But for now, I'm going to quit into the game. So, seeing as in the last vid, all I've pretty much done was run around killing a load of things. I don't want to spoil off quests. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing in this vid, I'm afraid. So if you didn't enjoy it, then, yeah. Either way... The co-op is what's been fixed this time around. It's pretty much the major changes. It's what you need to know. If you... Uh, just by the game, you get one extra character. You don't just get Sparkles the Wizard anymore, who is unchanged. He's still got the same moves he had in the last one. You now get Steve. You can then get his DLC, Tanko, the Spider Warrior type thing. So I'll show the two of these off quickly, because you can pretty much drop in, drop out co-op, so you can swap around the characters. And... The uh, only other DLC is simply a snowy dungeon, which you do get a trophy for, like it adds to the trophy list. But uh, Steve here has a rainbow which can heal you, he can throw a ninja star, he can use his sword attack, and I think the other one's a bone arrow. He's a pretty decent character. Oh, it's not a bone arrow, it's some sort of lightning charge, it, it just makes the sound of a bone arrow. Um, He's a pretty decent character. I personally think he's better than Sparkles the Wizard, but maybe that's just simply because he's different than Sparkles the Wizard. And as I said in the last game, it got to the point where he, he was so monotonous because he doesn't change. It's nice to have a change. So that's him then. I'll quickly cut into Tanko the Warrior now though. And Tanko the Warrior is just a big spider-human hybrid. He can... Uh, drain life from enemies, he can poison enemies, he can entrap enemies so Deathspan can kick the crap out of them or to be fair so he can kick the crap out of them with the, with his uh, claw type attack um, but that's as I say pretty much all that's changed for the most part it is just an identical game only obviously the continuation of the story which for a lot of people that's good for some people it might be bad if you didn't enjoy the first one but if you did it's got the same stupid humour which I personally love it's got the same style of boss battles it's got the same weapons of justice which I didn't get to show off in the last review but I've shown it off there the same sort of quests going around finding things killing things and that only now you've got more playable characters for the co-op. Um, obviously, it's still just the same affair with Death Bank being able to go in and view your missions, check your hero cards, assign weapons. Again, you can grind them at any point because the grind is there. Um, that's pretty much everything I've got to say, really. I know these vids haven't been all that great, but it's because I hate doing this sort of review because if I make it too in-depth, it lasts 50 minutes long. See the Borderlands vids. All four of them, uh, possibly five of them if I've done the review of the Revolution DLC by now, by the time you're watching this. And if I do them not as in-depth, then it might turn people off, but yeah, it's the risk I've got to take. And I really have run out of things I can say to make this still a basic short vid, just saying, if you like the first game, get it. So there we go then, that's been the review, I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask, and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel, because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe, because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.